At the Army 2024 exhibition, Russia's Rosoberwen export introduced a new mobile electronic warfare e, system based on the Plastin SN tracked armored vehicle. This vehicle is equipped with the Shield Electronic Warfare System, designed to suppress electronic signals from first-person view FPV, drones and other unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. In addition to its EU capabilities, the Plastin SN can transport either eight fully equipped personnel or four operators for the EU systems. As reported in October 2023, the Russian Ministry of Defense has taken delivery of 14 Plastin SN vehicles, indicating the vehicle's operational readiness and potential importance within the Russian armed forces. These vehicles, which were first revealed at the Army 2023 exhibition in Moscow, are produced in Novosibirsk and have been tailored to meet military requirements. A total of at least 50 of these vehicles have been ordered under a contract signed by the Ministry of Defense. The Plastin SN is a military variant of the civilian Plastin all-terrain vehicle, with the SN designation indicating its special purpose capabilities. This variant is designed for various military roles, including medical evacuation, reconnaissance, and as a self-propelled mortar platform. At the Army 2023 Forum, two specific configurations of the Plastin SN were displayed, one equipped with an 82mm mortar for artillery support and another with a telescopic mast and observation devices for reconnaissance. The vehicle's performance was tested at the Alabino training ground, showcasing its adaptability. In terms of protection, the Plastin SN is equipped with combined armor capable of withstanding bullets ranging from 9x19mm to 7.62x39mm. However, its open design, protected only by a waterproof canopy and a removable frame, makes it vulnerable to certain threats, such as drone strikes or shrapnel from enemy fire. The vehicle features a patented all-season track that measures 500 mm in width, enhancing its mobility across various terrains. The vehicle's 1.6-liter Lada petrol engine generates 106 horsepower, enabling it to reach a top speed of 50 km per hour, with an optimal operating speed of 30 km per hour. The Plastin SN is also amphibious, capable of crossing water obstacles, and features a winch that allows it to climb steep slopes, demonstrating its capability in various operational environments. Weighing 3,800 kilograms, the vehicle can overcome obstacles such as ditches, trenches, and inclines. The vehicle's electronic warfare capabilities are centered around what is possibly the OPD-712 shield system from the Russian company Protection System. This system is designed to detect and suppress drones by interfering with the communication between the drone and its controller. The OPD-712 shield system combines the OD-712 Lovitz detector and the PD-704 perimeter suppressor, working together to automatically combat UAVs. The system has a detection range of up to 5 kilometers and a suppression range of up to 3 kilometers, capable of handling up to 30 UAVs simultaneously. It can operate both manually and autonomously and is built to function under challenging environmental conditions, in compliance with Russian industrial and military standards. The OPD-712 shield system provides broad-spectrum suppression across various frequency ranges, ensuring that UAVs lose control and their satellite navigation is disrupted, preventing them from returning to their starting points. The system is designed to integrate additional suppressors if necessary, and it can function as part of a broader network of detection and suppression systems.
Russia has identified the need for hundreds of such vehicles on the battlefield, which is why it is currently considering a domestic option in the form of the wheeled Plastin. Russian media have revealed some details about this project, specifically, it is claimed to be made entirely of domestic components, with several parts borrowed from the Russian Niva, particularly the engine, a 1.7-liter, 80-horsepower gasoline engine, and the axles from the Gazelle. The all-terrain vehicle has an articulated design. Its frame consists of two halves connected by a special hinge. The frame and hinge are made of stainless steel tubing, which gives maximum strength with limited weight. Using a hydraulic drive, the frame bends in a horizontal plane. This allows the all-terrain vehicle to turn and maneuver, and also improves its maneuverability. The all-terrain vehicle is equipped with wheels of size 12.4 L168PR, specially adapted for off-road driving. The design of the chassis gives a ground clearance of 280 mm. Plastin TT can accelerate to 100 km per hour on the highway and has a power reserve of 400 km. The rear link body can carry up to one ton of cargo. The all-terrain vehicle is controlled by one driver, who is located in an open cockpit on the front link of the vehicle. There may be a passenger next to him. There are safety bars installed above the cabin, which can also serve as a frame for the awning. The payload is housed in the rear link body. There are benches along the sides, and in the front there is an additional seat. There are safety bars. For ease of boarding and loading, the rear side of the body folds down. The all-terrain vehicle is capable of carrying up to 10 people. As of today, testing of the prototype vehicle is ongoing, involving both civilian specialists and military personnel from the Russian occupying forces. Allegedly, the feedback has been purely positive and if a contract is signed, the production rate will reach up to 20 vehicles per month by the end of the year.